except one, deal or no deal. show that is changing the sound of Channel 4 afternoons. We are all familiar with the sound of success. <laughs> but we also bring you <laughs> when the box disappoints. Will the boxes be kind to our players on this show? Will our phone competition be kind to you? Don't forget it's Wednesday and therefore you could win £10,000. So it's worth a phone call. Somebody here could win a quarter of a million pounds. It's worth them trying to beat the banker. Yes, we have 22 players, 22 identical boxes, and on that board, we have 22 different sums of money, ranging from 1p all the way up to a quarter of a million pounds. At this moment, we do not know the identity of Wednesday's player. Is it going to be a strategist? Is it going to be a fatalist? Is it going to be somebody who tries to outwit the banker? Certainly, it could be somebody who wins a huge amount of money. Who's playing deal or no deal? Yes, it's you. Joe. Yeah! Come on, Joe. So, Joe takes the long walk. <laughs> it is a long way, isn't it? Well, yeah, I never walked down the aisle on my wedding day, so that's probably the closest I'm going to get. <laughs> <laughs> so, was your wedding day a good day? It was. It was fantastic. Good. Well, I hope this is a, a parallel universe. I hope it works out for you. <laughs> so do I. I will uh, just remind you who you are. OK. Joe Hornsby from Shepparton in Middlesex. You're a florist and a floristry tutor, so you teach people to flurry. <laughs> I teach them to um, become florists and put them into the industry, yeah. All right. How do you feel about luck, fate, destiny? <sighs> I, I, I do believe in your fate and your destiny, but I also believe that you create it for yourself. Um, and on my wedding day, my dad wrote in my wedding book that life is not a dress rehearsal, and I very much believe in that. Joe, I wish you all possible success. You Thank know, you. I have to ask one question. Please confirm that... You chose that box at random before the show. I did. It was sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all the boxes. I don't know where the money is, you don't know where the money is, they don't know where the money is, which makes this even more interesting because the banker definitely doesn't know where the money is. We will hear from him after you've opened your first five boxes. Right. Are you ready? I think so. OK, away we go in your own time. OK. I'm going to do a bit of Mally logic here because... Yeah. Um, I fell in love with that guy and he was great. And Jeff, I think you had 250 last time, didn't you? Did you? And I know that it's pure luck, but let's have number 16. OK, right. just for people's benefit, Mally logic is that if there's been a high amount of money in that box previously, then the odds are it's going to be low now. That's what we call Mally logic. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't always work. <laughs> no, no, but let's but go I'll for see. it. OK. Away we go. Let's get the game underway, Jeff. Open box 16, please. OK. Good luck, Joe. Please. 75,000. Oh. That's why I say Mally logic doesn't, doesn't work. always work. No. Nope. OK, 75,000. Uh, it's been a weird old week. Don't forget Audrey on Monday, who managed to pick off the 250, the 75 and the 100 in the very first round. Don't do that, Joe. No, I don't want to do that. Um... Jill, number 11. Jill, number 11. We need this to be low. Don't touch the 100 or the quarter of a million. 500. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Come on, let's have some positive vibes here, positive energy. Let's keep to the left-hand side all the way up to the banker's first call. Where are you going? Oh, um... OK, let's go for number one. Lucky number one. Lee? 
do us the favour, keep it low. Let's have a really positive start here. Yep. I'm fed up of these opening rounds where it all goes to worms. Open box number one. Good luck, George. Oh. Quarter of a million. <sighs> oh, well. You're doing an Audrey. You're playing Audrey's game. I don't want to be playing Audrey's game. Well, on this basis, one of the next two boxes will contain £100,000. That's what happened to Audrey. Joe, turn it round. Come on, let's change it. Good luck. Oh, um... Max, number 12. Max, you know what we're asking. It mustn't be the 100,000, otherwise this is going downhill so fast. Open box 12, please, Max. Not 100,000. Yeah. That's more like it. That's more like it. One more. Yeah. Oh, that's quite a lot. Okay. Thanks, Max. Thank you, Max. Right, one more, and then we get the call. Okay. Um, okay, let's go with Chris, number four. Okay, Chris. Please, I hope, Chris. I hope it's not a big one. I hope it's not. A nice blue this, one. This could be as bad as Audrey's opening round if this has got 100,000 in it. Please, keep it low. Very low. One. Yeah! One pound. Bring it on. <laughs> All right. OK, now, it would be easy to think, oh, what a shame. 75's gone, quarter of a million's gone. The reality is the box that you chose before this show could contain 100,000. Mm -hmm. That's what the banker has got to bear in mind. OK. So what do you think the opening offer is likely to be? <sighs> I have been guessing all the way through, but... <sighs> I've no idea. Probably... <sighs> maybe... Uh, £1,500, maybe slightly less. I shouldn't think it's going to be any more than that. If it is, great, but let's see what he says. What do you think, Lee? I think it'll be about £3,000. I thought it might be as high as that. I thought it could be. Hi, banker. Very good today, thank you. Yep. Yeah, you are having a good week, it has to be said. <laughs> All right, your, uh, your run of luck has to come to an end soon. Yeah, go on then. OK, he claims he's worked out something about you. Right. But he's not prepared to say what that is at this point. Right. However, this opening offer reflects that opinion. OK. £1,300. Yeah. Pathetic. OK, opening shot, £1,300. OK. What's he saying? Uh, I don't know what he's saying, but I'm not going to let him bully me either. I'm stronger than that. I'm made of stronger stuff. I'm not going to let him do it to me. I've seen him do it to too many people. So £1,300, that... Joe. Deal or no deal? No deal now. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Employ whatever tactics you want. You can cruise through it or we can zip through it. We'll just do whatever you want. I'd like to do it in my time. Yes? Well, you just say. OK. Dave, box number three. Box number three, Dave. It mustn't be £100,000 or you are going to ruin Joe's afternoon. No pressure. <laughs> oh, no, none at all. <laughs> Let's keep it below. You, yes, you've got low places to go. You could have a really small amount. Now, please, Dave, in box three. Good luck. £750. Yes. That'll do. That's good. Second one. Um, let's go with number 20. Ooh, hoping that you have got a number again. Open box number 20. Mustn't be 100,000. 35,000. Ooh. Ooh. Sharp inhalation of breath by 90% of the people here. 
Okay. Um, Jenna, 22. Okay. Jenna, would you just pick the box up a moment? <laughs> Can you guess the weight? Half pound? No. No, the weight is about three minutes while we have a break. <laughs> Here's your chance to play Deal or No Deal at home. Welcome back. There's some uh, real energy here on behalf of Joe, who's had a pretty iffy, no, let's be honest, grotty start. She's got the 100,000 remaining. This is the last box, Jenna, before we hear from the banker again. It is absolutely vital that this is not £100,000. Would you please open for Joe box 22? Good luck. One thousand. One thousand. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, just for a second, I thought, no! I know. Right, okay. Uh, what's your reading of the position at the moment? Um, I think I'm doing okay. I'd say it's fairly evenly matched at the moment. Yes. I would agree with that. 1300. Mm -hmm. 1300, and you just went. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Okay, he is maintaining this theme that he knows something about you. What he's doing, obviously he doesn't know you, but what he's doing is observing you. Yeah. And so he opened at £1,300. Mm -hmm. You took the 35 out in the last round. Yeah. And therefore, this is interesting. For that box, now, real money, mm -hmm. he is offering you £4,600. Maybe the message that he's trying to send to you, Joe, hmm. is that he recognises you are a no-dealer. Right. Okay. Which, initially, first reaction, you could take as a compliment. Yeah. There is a flip side to it, that a no-dealer is possibly somebody who just goes on regardless and is left standing in the smoking wreckage and goes home with one P. Yeah. Right, this is a crucial call. If in the next round of three boxes, yeah. you were able to maintain the 50,000 and 100,000 in the game, mm -hmm. 4,600 would crank up very nicely. Hit either of them, and I doubt he's going to go there for quite a while. OK. Maybe you are a no-dealer. Maybe you're just going to keep going because you know there's 100,000 in your box. £4,600, Joe. Deal or no deal? No deal. Right. Good. Where do you want to go? Right. Come on. Um, oh, I'm going to go back to number seven. Yes? Yep. OK. Clive, box number seven mustn't be £100,000. I hope it's not. Thank you. Would you kindly open it? 5000 right. <laughs> Yep. Jason says it's all right. He's right. It is all right. But OK. Marianne nods. Jill nods. Everyone's happy, £5,000 is out of the way, we just throw it out of the window. <laughs> what, what do you want to do now? Let's go with number five. <sighs> mustn't be 50000 mustn't be 100000 She will get the banker's attention, Michael, if this is low. Please open box five. Yes! £50. <laughs> right, this is fabulous. <laughs> really, really good. Go. So, why do you keep looking behind you? Because my dad's sitting there. Oh, is that Dad? Yeah. Hello, Dad. <laughs> What's his name? Ian. Hello, Ian. Hello. If you were going to choose a box now, which one would you have? Oh, don't. <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't bring me into it. If I make the wrong decision, I've got. 
Another two years of it, mate. I'm not going to get... <laughs> it's her show. Exactly. It's her big moment. Exactly. So Answer I'll the question. No. <laughs> Answer the question, Ian. Which one would you go for? Um... Box number one. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that if he does something wrong, I'll that never forgive good him. Ears, and isn't he? All right, okay. Okay, guys. Who wants to open their next box for me? <laughs> no pressure. Michael, you're happy to take the responsibility. Yeah, hang on, then. Hang on, one. I don't. Andy's had a high one, so this has got to be a low one, isn't he? I don't want to fight between you two. <laughs> it's the last thing I want. Well, that's great, you've got a volunteer for a I penalty know. shootout. That's rare. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go with you then, number 18. One OK, of my Michael, trust me, years. Joe, trust me. You volunteered for this. I have. And you I'm going to come over there and kill you. <laughs> this is fantastic, isn't it? You can see illuminating behind, hero. <laughs> yes. Oh. 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 Oh, no, we'll just do hero, Michael. Okay. You volunteered, mustn't be 50,000, okay. mustn't be 100,000 pounds. Okay. Open box 18. What a great round! What a fantastic round! Look what you've done to the board now! Yeah, the board, of course, is only a guide. The money is out there in I the know. boxes somewhere. There could I be 100,000 here, but that's great to have a volunteer. Swing it round like that. How are you feeling? Great. Yep. Good. It starts getting difficult now. <laughs> that was the easy bit. <laughs> yeah, you said it's right. a, I thought you said it's just opening boxes. <laughs> How's it got more difficult? Oh, cos I know how these guys are feeling and I know how it's horrible it's to be to be left last cos you feel so responsible. Cos this is the magic of this game. We've all made such great friends. And I think everyone in the, that have shared this with us, it has been the most intense roller coaster I've ever been on in my entire life. I mean, even giving birth to kids wasn't this <laughs> difficult. It's just, it's just one minute you're up here, one minute you're down there, and it's just the whole emotional thing has been really intense. And uh, it's, it's been quite difficult to deal with at times, especially with Raju's game, because I know we all felt so responsible. It, you know, it's yeah. just luck of the draw. And it's, it's luck. He's probably going to offer an epidural. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want one of those. Hello. Gas in here. All right, come on. That'd be all right. It was a good round, and we're fascinated to know what this secret is, this theme. OK. What was the last offer? Four, six. For that box, now, he's offering you £11,200. <laughs> and now, Joe has a problem. quiet now. I can't cope. I can't cope with silence, Noel. Well, you know why we're all sort of thinking about it? Because it's a serious sum of money. Well, and bear in mind how much Audrey got, what, eight and a half. I know. Rob with ten. You've still got a long way to go and you're at 11,200. I know. Lee? There's definitely another one deal at least on that board there. If you take out the 100,000, you've got 50,000 as a safety net. Mm. Chances of taking them both out are slim. I'd go on. Right. £11,200, Joe. I, I really, really don't want to sound greedy because I'm not. And Christmas is just knocking on the door. And, you know, it, it would be perfect but I do feel there's one more deal in that board, at least. <laughs> £11,200, Joe. Deal or no deal? 
No deal. Spot on. Right. OK. Now, all you've got to do is prove that that wasn't bravery, it was wisdom. One more deal on the board. There's one more offer in the game made you go on. Yeah. You've got to prove it now by staying away from the 100,000 and the 50,000. Let's go with Nick. Let's go with number eight because his jumper is just lovely and it's shouting at me. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> it's actually screaming. Well, I, I was trying to be more polite. Okay, let's keep really focused on this. I Positive. want this game. I so much want this game to be the highlight of the week. I really do. We've had two really difficult days. The atmosphere in here is amazing because everybody wants Joe to go away with a lot of money. And it really does rest, Nick, on this box. Wow. Kindly open it now. Do my best, Joe. Good luck. Yes! Yes! Well done. Have a quick. Right. OK. It's all right. You concentrate on them. I'll check your dad's still breathing. No, I just had to, I just had to perch, because sitting down was getting a bit Yeah, intense. OK. I don't want to look at the board, because... No, don't. No. The money's in the boxes. Yeah. The board is it's purely just... a guide yeah. to where we are. Let's go for number two. Irene. Yes? Say after me, not £50,000. Not £50,000. Not £100,000. Not £100,000. Kindly open the box, Irene. £15,000. It's all right. OK. It's OK. This one. And we get an offer. Karen. 21. She's going to be lucky for me today. Karen? Yes? Yeah. Please do not break Joe's heart. Did I say break? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't forget that you could win. Welcome back to Joe's show, Deal or No Deal, where at the moment she has got a distinct advantage over the banker. She's turned down £11,200. We are one box away from the next offer, which has to increase. But, Karen, well, the principle hasn't altered in the last couple of rounds. We mustn't see 50000 We mustn't see 100000 Please open box 21 and make Joe happy. Yeah! It's <laughs> getting good now. Got the picture of the kids. I have my babies. What are their names? Jordan and George. Jordan and George. Jordan <laughs> and George here. She'll hate us for that. Why? Well, she's nearly 14, you know. She's gonna oh, be... she will hate you for that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mum, why did you have to show that one? I know. Jordan and George. Yeah. Mum's doing well. Mum's doing extremely well. Ooh. Welcome to Joe's World. <laughs> mm-hmm. OK. OK. All right, for some strange reason, he's wanting me to correct that, that it's not his view that you're a no-dealer, that's oh. my words... OK. ..interpreting his comments. Right. And he still is unsure whether you're a dealer or a no dealer. Right. £19,000. <laughs> For that box, oh. number six. Box number six, £19,000. He's pitched that. 
don't know whether anybody agrees. It feels like we're in trap territory again, Jason. Yeah, he's just pitched it to egg you one step on, Joe. Don't make a mistake, please. I had a hundred grand in my box for Rob and for Audrey. So to have it again is going to be, the, the probability of that is going to be highly unlikely. To have it three games in a row. My head's saying, go for it. You've got one opportunity to win that amount of money in your life. And my heart's also saying, I've got two kids that could have a bloody lovely Christmas and they could also have some other little things and I don't think I could forgive myself if I lost it all. I can hear my husband shouting at the television. Yeah, and what are the kids doing? They're going, go for it, Mum, go for it. Are they? Yeah. But I've also seen this game go horribly wrong. Yep. In an instant. Yep. And I don't think I can live with myself doing that. 19 thousand pounds Joe deal or no deal deal I've got, a, a, I can't put it into words other than to say I've got a funny feeling. So have I. That that was a good call. This is where we turn it around. We play on now, £19,000, Joe. That's yours in your bank account to have a great Christmas with the kids and whatever. Hope you have a sensational time. I will. But let's find out whether the whole of Christmas is going to have this black cloud floating <laughs> over it. <laughs> If it is, well, I'm going to come and find you. With a bit of glitter around the outside. But the reality that will live with you now for the rest of your life, that you either did a great deal or not a very good deal. I know. We play on, but now we're looking for the big money. We want to see the 100,000 and the 50,000 as soon as possible, and we will know you did the right deal. Where are we going? OK, I've been putting Jason off all night, so Jason, number 19. Jason, we now want to see 100,000 or 50,000, please. 10,000. It would have been a positive start. We would have been thinking, yep, 3,000 there to be taken. 1p, 5 pounds and 10 pounds. This would have been an excellent start. Louise, number 9. Louise, number 9. We want this to be please. big money, Louise. I think really big money. I think it's Open 50. 9. Oh. 1p. You could not have taken the two biggest sums of money. Would you have had a dream round? Would the next box have been five pounds, 10 pounds, or 3,000? And let's face it, at this point, you could have afforded to hit the 20,000. Joe? No. Third box. Helen, number 13. Helen? We want it to be one of the big numbers, Helen. Yep. Please open box 13. 50,000. Right. That would have changed the complexion. Right. It would have changed the banker's perception of whether you were in the driving seat or whether he had got control of the car. And this would have been his offer. Thank you. He would have... Did you I hear? I don't want to hear it. Did you hear? Uh, no. Stick your fingers in and then... He would have offered you... £28,000. Oh. That's genuine. He would have had to offer, based on the 100000 still being there at this stage in the game with 20000 below it. Did you deal one deal too soon or two deals too soon? 17. 17. We are desperate to see 100000 because it won't be in your box. Angela, would you please open 17? Let's find it. £10. Oh. Again, we would have been popping corks. We would have been jumping up and down and going, she's going to do it. She's got the 100,000 in this box. <laughs> Every time we open one at this stage and don't reveal the 100,000, it is more likely that you actually 
had 100,000. And you kiss goodbye to 81,000 pounds. Next box. 14. Box 14. Marianne, open box 14. 3,000. You have one uh. last chance to get rid of the 100,000. Jenny, number 10. Jenny? Yes. Please make this the 100,000 pounds and open the box. I hope it is. Five pounds! Oh, I don't believe it. This would have been, Joe. this was the highlight of the week that I was looking for oh. after the disappointment of Monday, the agony of Tuesday. We would have got to a point here, had you gone on, where the 20,000 is either there or it's there, which would mean 100,000 is here, and the banker, to get oh. rid of you at this point, would have offered you... £59,000, oh. £59,000, and would you have gone on? No. What, with that board? I don't know. I, I'm really happy with my 19 grand. Of I'm course gutted. you are. I'm gutted, because I actually, after, I, I felt lucky sitting here. But I, I, it's just, I, I've seen it go horribly wrong. Absolutely. And... Uh, yeah. I'm gutted. I'm gutted, because I was feeling lucky. I suppose to make you feel just a teensy-wincy bit better, you'd like me to open this box no, and prove... No, can I do it? Absolutely. But you would be hoping that this has, dare I say it, only £20,000 in it. Yeah? Because this will be the last box I open now. So was 59000 the most you were ever going to win? Or have you been sitting there the whole time with £100,000 in front of you. If I have, the odds of that happening are just unreal. Bearing in mind you've had it in the box before. I know, twice. OK, I'm happy for you to take the seal off the box now. Are we now. ready? <laughs> How many of you think I've got it in here? <laughs> Come on, this is agony. There's ready? millions watching this in agony. <sighs> yes! Oh! You had £100,000. <laughs> You had £100,000 for the third time. And it's been sitting there the whole time. And would you Gutted. please, Simon, just prove that 20000 was sitting over there, oh. by no means an insubstantial amount of money in its own right. What an extraordinary game. How are you feeling? Gutted. <laughs> But I didn't have the balls to go any further. And I, I, I didn't. I didn't. And I, I did it. You can't, I just, do, can well, you do... Can you do ladylike expressions? Well, all right. I'm a bit upset then. But I'm happy. I'm really happy with my win. I'm pleased for you. I'm really, really pleased for you, honestly. I had a feeling you'd do all right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And... Uh, when we get that gameplay, when we get that style of gameplay, it is so easy to forget £19,000 is a huge amount of money. Joe, have a great Christmas. Thank you. I hope the family enjoy the money. Thank you. Thanks. Great play. Great play. <laughs> and now, you could be on to uh, £1,000, £2,000, or possibly £10,000. Yes, we double the money on a Wednesday. And all I need you to do, tell me your name. Lisa. Lisa. Would you have carried on, Lisa? I would have. You would have? I did say no deal. Yeah, you'd have got over 50,000 before you got out. Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very easy when you're sitting yeah, there <laughs> and it's not your money. Lisa, would you please say box one, two or three, please? Box number two, please. Thank you very much. Would you please open box number two? Contains 2,000 pounds. Would you open the other two boxes, please? There's the 10,000. Congratulations to you.
Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it. I just thought you played it brilliantly. Thank Absolutely you. brilliantly. And, uh, well, £19,000. The most, the most we've had this week. That's given real heart to these guys because we've had a very disappointing start to the week with all the big numbers going out early. And, yes, we managed 8,500. We managed 10,000 yesterday and 19,000 today. Are we on a climb? Tomorrow on Deal or No Deal, could it be the quarter of a million? I think you'll be there. All right. Quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes and no questions except one. Deal or no deal? Sunday is working for you, and thank you for joining us here in the Dream Factory. Well, we had a great game on Friday with Brian, who managed to get £12,500, but we also created a piece of deal or no deal history thanks to a member of the East Wing, Wendy, who has a GCSE in Smut and A level in Double Entendre and a degree in Innuendo. She was the first player in the history of the game to get the red card. They then all walked out, <laughs> which was a bit embarrassing, really, because you can't really play this game with no players. So there was a bit of negotiating behind the scenes, and they have proved that they, collectively, are not a bunch of players to be messed with. And I hope he remembers that, and 